people that were charm Grammy crochet and I'm not sure what day this is going up but I think it might be Monday the 21st um, but I'm filming it on Sunday and I want to welcome you all into again the dining room the dining room videos it's all gonna be dining room videos this week uh, up through right now because this is where all my stuff was <laughs> in the downstairs and I didn't want to carry it all to the upstairs just to bring it back down to the downstairs so, <clears throat> excuse me, I've had a froggy throat all morning. I just completed another video. And my throat, throat has been froggy all day. I can't make it go away. Um, so, please bear with me with that. So, today uh, I wanted to talk about two, two things. Uh, on Tuesday night, we're doing Tuesday Night Live. It is scheduled. Hopefully, it goes off uh, without a hitch and actually comes on. Uh, and I'm doing that with Tuesday Night Lives with Nancy and Lynette. Um, and we're, we're planning on, it's kind of, I think, kind of, hopefully it's going to be kind of fun. Um, we want to do like little segments of different things. Um, and we'll want feedback and, uh, you know, how we can improve the lives to be more interesting, more fun. See what you guys want us, want in to include. Uh, to have, but we're planning on things like, um, sure, now I'm totally blunt, uh, we want to do like some pattern reviews, you know, like up and coming, just stuff on our channels, what are you guys doing, uh, and what would you like to see, uh, yarn sales that we know about, crochet alongs that are starting, um, you know, just that kind of chitty chatty stuff. Um, <clears throat> this drives me crazy. Uh, and we will also always, as usual, talk about our Boggy Creek Camp Blankets, which will be live uh, unboxings now at this time because uh, we are collecting the blankets now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so the, two, the lives for the Boggy Creek Blankets will be on Wednesdays on Billy's channel, uh, Billy the Crafty Floridian, myself, and um, obviously Nancy from She's Got Yarn Too. Uh, Nancy's mom, the way this all started was Nancy's mom is in a woman's group. And the woman's group makes gift bags for the children at Boggy Creek Camp which is a camp for children that have chronic illnesses. Um, they're not necessarily, uh, um, they're chronic. They're, you know, they're not gonna go away. They're gonna be there their whole life. And the camp is set up for like orphaned illnesses that aren't covered under other, um, like Make-A-Wish or other things like that. Uh, so, Paul Newman and General Schwarzkopf and some others put together this camp. And there's one, there's, and it has sister camps, one here in Ohio where I'm from. Um, but Boggy Creek is in Florida. And the way that it works is the sick kids come uh, for a week or a weekend based on their illness. So if they have sickle cell, then all the kids there that during that camp trip have sickle cell and they have medical staff doctors and nurses that specialize in sickle cell so they have the right medical staff there they have a treatment room they can give them medications uh, x-rays if they get hurt um, all right there in the camp it is so awesome they have I think six kids and one or two camp coaches to a uh, cabin that they stay in for the time that they're there um and it has full bathrooms and the kids get to come in and pick out a bed that they're going to sleep in some are bunked some are not uh they're all handicap accessible for wheelchairs and whatever every and no nothing is overlooked and um so these these kids can run and climb and do things that they don't ever get to do and be kids and they're not the sick one. They're not, oh, look out for that one because they're sick because all the kids there 
are sick. Um, and they all have the same disease, illness. So they can relate to their treatments, they can relate to their injuries, um, you know, whatever it is that they go through. And <clears throat> they get the families together uh, for an evening or a day and the families get to bond and meet other families that are also going through that same um, traumatic experiences with their children. So it's a great bonding experience for the parents and the kids. Um, and they do wonderful, wonderful things. Nancy has videos and I have videos. We went there last year and dropped off the blankets together and did videos of the camp. The camp also has videos. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> Can't get rid of this frog. Um, so uh, it's very, very cool. It's a very good cause. The uh, camp sends home with the kids a goodie bag that uh, Nancy's mother, Sue, and her woman's group help put together. They get, they send bags that the kids get to go home with. And they send them home with a handmade crocheted or knitted blanket. Uh, every kid gets one. The rooms are decorated in themes versus, uh, 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 be it um, the theme of the weekend or the week. You know, this is, uh, this week it's Star Wars themed. And so everything has Star Wars themes. Or this week is Christmas themed. Or this week is you know, based on the holiday or whatever they're doing that week at the camp to give it a theme. And so all the blankets and the rooms are decorated the with that theme in mind. Um, they have, you can donate quilts. They put the quilts on the beds. They decorate the walls with quilts, like wall hangings. Um, it makes it very homey. The kids do not get to take home the quilts and I don't know the specifications of the quilts uh, you would have to contact Boggy Creek itself if you wanted to uh, do any quilting for them. They send the kids home with a bear that is a uh, Boggy Creek Camp bear. Every kid gets one. They're made, I don't know if they're made with specific colors. I don't think so, but it's a specific pattern. Um, and again, we're not sponsoring the bears. If you make one and you want to send it to us, we'll forward it on, no doubt about that. Uh, and the same with the quilts, but we are asking for knitted or crocheted blankets. Uh, the blankets have to be 35 to 40 inches wide, 40 to 50 inches long. Um, I would suggest acrylic or cotton. Um, acrylic is like so easy to take care of. And these kids are going to drag the blankets around and, you know, kids do with blankets. They're going to get sick on them. They're going to, you know, some easy, easy washing. For the parents would be awesome um so i would mostly suggest acrylic but cotton as well and i would i would advise that you stay away from animal fibers because maybe the kids have allergies you just never know and you don't want to make them worse than what they already are you know what i mean um so anyway uh the biggest reason for this video besides encouraging you if you can to make a blanket for boggy creek um my good friend Lynn from Nina's Next Knots uh, crochet channel is taking in granny squares, um, which is so fabulous. For those of you that want to participate, but shipping is, a, is an expense, um, you don't have time, whatever reason, you can make a granny square five by five in size the design of it doesn't matter. The colors in it doesn't matter. She asks for it to be acrylic and five by five. She will put a border on it and she will crochet them together. So um, you can send a granny square in an envelope, like a little padded envelope for like 75 cents. Uh, so she will put them all together. She's already started doing this um, and she will make them and um, send them on to Nancy. Uh, and she's got yarn too because Nancy is accepting the blankets and she opens them on the lives on Wednesdays when we have enough blankets to open. So this Wednesday, the 
third or fourth or something like that of August, we are going to go live and um, on Billy, the Crafty Florian's channel, and open up the packages that she's already received, that Nancy's already received. Um, <clears throat> if you are making a blanket and you don't want to send it to Florida because you're that's too much shipping cost. You can send it to me in Ohio. Um, mine and Nancy's addresses will be, mailing addresses will be listed in the description box below. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I will, I'm going down. We're going to deliver them together in February. Uh, and so my husband and I are taking vacation and we're going to go on vacation with Nancy and her husband, Tim. And during that time, we're going to deliver the Boggy Creek blankets to Boggy Creek. So I will travel them myself. If you're more local to me and want to ship them off to me, or if you're in Ohio, maybe we could even meet up and I could take them down for you, depending on weather, because <laughs> I'm not driving far in a, in a snowstorm. Um, but anyway, uh, if you want to make granny squares and ship them to Lynn she would be glad. I think she's going to take them through the end of November. So that gives her time to make the blankets and get them to us by the end of January. Um, or get them to Nancy. Lynn and Nancy live about an hour or so apart. So they will meet up and get the blankets to, to each other. You know, do what they need to do. Um, <clears throat> and so following that lead of Lynn's. I have this box. It used to be <laughs> a while back that I would finish a project and take the yarn and make willow squares. Because I like a willow square. I think here's one that's just easier to see because it's, I think it's a really pretty square. Um, it's not five by five. I think it's more like six or seven inches. I can't remember. I've been, I, four worsted weight. It's all four worsted weight. Um, and I would try to make a great, make a willow squares out of all of my scraps. And <clears throat> then I didn't have a bunch of scraps. And then when I got it together, I could make scrappy blankets out of willow squares, just sew them together, which is what Linnean is doing. And I would, I didn't care what the yarn looked like. I would just do it out of any. Um, I believe I used Crochet Rocks, if you don't know her. Uh, she's in the UK, and she has a pretty good size channel right, right now. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I used to, and I'm sure that this is enough to make a boggy blanket. So I am between now and when I go to Florida, going to sew these together and put them in a Boggy Creek blanket to take to Florida with me. So if you have ever done that, uh, just use your scraps up as you're like, finish this project, make a granny square, finish this project, make a granny square. Um, and then I save them up. I was saving them up and making blankets out of them. I don't know what I've done with them all. Um, one of them sits on the back of my couch, but it's, it was rectangular granny squares. Uh, anyway, it's a good idea, a uh, good way to use up scraps. Granny squares, once you make a couple, uh, just if you just do a regular old granny like this, uh, these I was making, these are cotton yarn, and I was making, um, oh, I guess that's the back I'm showing you. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> bags for my, gran you know, because I was into bags at the beginning of the year, and I still am. I still want to make bags. I just haven't had a great deal of time. I was working way more than, um, started working way more at the beginning of the year, and I just, and I've done that the whole year, so I took away a lot of crochet time. But anyway, I made a couple of bags out of these green squares, and this was leftovers, so I put them in little squares and thought I would make a scrappy blanket. This was a Bag, or not a blanket, a scrappy bag. Um, this was, how do I, which way do I like the yarn to go better? I was making samples and I thought, rather than pull it apart, I'll just throw it in a scrap bag. So these were more of those colored squares that I was just trying to figure out how I wanted to make the, ba the bag. And they turned out really cute and I like them. 
um, but they're small. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, if you make this kind of grainy square, um, there's a 103 million tutorials on how to do this if you don't know how to do it. Uh, but you can make, you know, just go round and round until they're five inches and you can send them in to Lenny Ann. Um, and I, like I said, I will have her linked in the description box below and her address if I can find it. I mean, I'm sure it's in our videos. Um, so send them in to her. It doesn't take long to make one and once you make a couple, it's pretty, pretty much easy to remember. The Willow Square, a little more complicated, but not bad, but it's a bigger, it's a bigger square than uh, the five by five that Lynn Ann wants. But it doesn't have to be granny. It can be, I mean, like with the actual granny stitch, any squares five by five she'll take. Uh, I did listen to, I'm pretty sure it was Crochet Rocks. Uh, she had two part video on how to make these. Um, and maybe there's other people that have videos on them too. I just took notes and I keep it in my little bin. It's right in there, like just hit her notes so that I can remember how to do it, wrote this, do that. And there we go. Then we got starts and one day finished. One day before I, I, I'm thinking I might just crochet this together on my way to Florida. <laughs> um, that, that might be the case. Who knows? So anyway, just a little plug for Boggy Creek. Uh, join our lives on Wednesdays. We will announce in advance when they're going to be there. They are going to be there this Wednesday. Um, send in your your um, your squares to Linnean before the end of November uh, and blankets into Nancy before the end of January. Uh, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Thank you so, so very much for participating in the Boggy Creek Blanket Drive. Um, just, we collected like over 360 blankets last year. We want to double that this year. Um, so we're looking at over 700 blankets. Please, please, please. Thanks and appreciations. That's all we can say. There will be prizes at the end. Um, we did a drawing and we had the girls from Boggy Creek draw the names last year. So we're probably doing that again this year. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, all right. All right. We're done. Gotta go. See ya. Bye.